but one of the reasons why we haven't posted videos for a couple of weeks is uh, our camera sort of been letting us down um, with the quality of the audio it's got a wind uh, muffler on it but it's it's just picking up all the wind unfortunately Portugal's quite a windy place and this camera's not the best quality so uh, with the wind I uh, did a couple of jobs at the top of the farm so when we do the videoing here on the farm you you know we don't sort of uh, make anything up you actually sort of see what we're doing for the day uh, and if I finish doing that job and we come back down and check the video recording and it's no good you can't take it all apart again and go back and video it so unfortunately we lost a lot of footage because it just wasn't good enough to put on YouTube um, the rain has really not helped us unfortunately this weather I'm not complaining as we're desperate for the rain but I've not been able to get a lot done uh, we've had a lot of rain in this area here like heavy downpours so absolutely no work whatsoever and I also returned back to go and help Jasper with opening a window and sort of trying to teach him a little bit of how he can concrete that back together uh, and I'm going to put a clip of that in here now well I've just been into Castello Branco with Jasper to help him buy some some bits and he's bought a welder and a new grinder and some other bits he wants me to teach him how to weld and then we're going to try and open up a window hole down there so and make some framing for it Right. Yes, some framing, I think, out of that. The hole this big, and then we put the cement in there. Yes. And then you leave just a little bit here to finish when you render the building. Yes. So you make the hole just a little bit too big. Yes. And then you get it exactly correct with the, the finished render. Yes. Just put a piece of wood in here, and you render up to this. Ah, yes. And that leaves you a lovely straight edge here yes. like that. And then, once this is gone, you take this away. Yes, I think we're going to take a coffee first, Alex. Oh yeah, coffee sounds good. You need to put enough concrete here that you, you sort of support this yes. again as well because you're taking the strength of the building away. So, so well, let's work out what's that. One, two, one, two. Fifty-one. Okay. that we use for the scaffold called a Serra Junta. That's <laughs> awesome, mate. <laughs> right, spirit level. Maybe you could hit it a few more times, yeah, you know, yeah. it depends how well it, sometimes these fall out and you have to put them in it, but generally, they're awesome. Oh, and that's saying enough. it's, it's shifted down. Has it? Oh, well. Oh. I was just going to say, I'm just going to adjust it for that stone first. Smooth that off when yeah. it's gone hard, yeah? Just put that in there and then that gives us 
that recess for the for the render later. Oh, not just the plug. Oh, there's a curve in it. Yeah. So if you leave it like this, then later I've got to fill that in. When I put a little bit of cement in there against this, yeah, I smooth it with the yeah. sponge and it will just follow the water and it will just completely disappear. It'll look like it's been there forever. Uh, this morning I'm back off to go and help Jasper uh, with some works on his house. And I don't know if you saw his video last week, and if you haven't, I'll put the link up here. I'll see you shortly at Jasper's. I would like to say thank you to everyone for your support, your donations and to everyone who has bought us a coffee. And of course our Patreons, you guys really do help. Thank you all so much and stay watching for some baby goats. And don't forget to like, subscribe and share our video with friends and family to help our channel grow. We really appreciate it.
and now we're at Jasper's. Zoe! Akira! Ah, this is my look! This is my look! Oh, Akira! Ah. Bon dia! Right, well, we're just about to start removing the, the work Jasper did the other day and he's managed to infill the, the windowsill so today we're going to try and put the sides in and make the lintel to go across the top I've got to start making the wooden former for the window size so let's make a start I think Jasper's about where's Jasper girls? Who you want? Why you? <laughs> And that's Amazing how fast it dry, right? Yeah. Not dry, but... And that's how it finishes yeah. it with that method. Good, huh, Jasper? Yeah. And what we're going to do nice in a minute well. is wash out some of the, the dirt between the rocks. Because I think one of your viewers was saying you should use brick ties. I saw in one of the oh. comments. But because it's not brickwork, pieces of metal. Yeah, because it's not a brickwork like in a in a modern building with cement. It's just dust. It's literally it's just not, gonna. It'll just yeah. do that in there. So what the Portuguese do is they wash out some of this mud. So when we put the concrete in, it it locks into the face of the stones, yes. and it's one of the strongest ways to to do it. Yeah. So let's get on with it. Let's try and leave this. We need to take some of this back because it's forward. Yeah. But uh, I can do that in, at any time, right? Uh, yeah, it's easy to do it now. Oh, it's still soft. Yeah. Okay. Have you got a trowel? Have you got a, a brick laying trowel? No. It's going to mess the edge up, and it's not going to look so pretty, but it'll uh, it'll be level. Because that's what I was saying. If you put that other wood in there, you know, so the the cement stopped here. Yeah. You then have I've got this and then I could have and you'd never see it. No, you'd never see it. So at the moment if I just take off enough but later oh. now I see that. I just need it to go back enough that I can put a, a cement coat on the top. So it's like this, you know? Yeah. In fact, that might. Oh, no, no, that's not. That's not great in there. Once that goes off, that will get weak and it will just fall out. So let's leave it like that. It's not the, the perfect way to do it. Looks okay. Yeah, but if you come along with a sponge a little bit and you smooth it, you literally you won't see any of that. No. Yeah, look. That's what I'm I see, look, because it's been painted before, that's what I'm saying it doesn't like sticking. Ah you just put a layer over it. That's an awful thin layer of concrete. Yeah. How did they get that to stick? Well that's probably literally cement dust and water and no sand. Ah. And just here, here. Maybe if we get some cement now I'll finish this off for you now. Because if we don't do this now and this goes hard and then I try and put a, a fresh cement it might not stick to this right. so you want to make it some cement? yeah well I'll help you make it so we let lots of little loose bits and then in the years when the rain gets a little bit of moisture gets behind it then it gets cold at night and so all those little things slowly your house starts to have little problems all over it. So you want to take this off or No, we'll leave this at the moment. I'm just going to smear a really fine pate in there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Not really a cement cement. And then we can fill that. Yeah. So now we need a little brush. See how it's cleaning the edge off. And now almost, if you painted that, that would look okay. Yeah. But we just need to prepare that, you know, and clean this space now. Do you have a wire brush? Let's, uh, let's 
metal. Yeah, metal heads, yeah. renders a bit loose but he's decided rather than trying to do it now we're gonna make it all look good and then a couple of years or whatever when he's got the, the funds to do it he'll probably pay a builder to come and take off the, the render and re-render the house I'm wondering if I have to do anything today, or Alex is going to... Will you stop fidgeting? I give you a bit of dungeon. Yeah, are you paying attention? Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. Stand back. You can not stand in the class. You need to sit. Stand back. put on cement or thin. It's not good. It's not the best way to do it.
I'll just show you the top so some people can get the idea what it'll look like. So there it is, finished it at the correct height. Well, that's the concrete done. We had a little bit of movement in the... I'm just having an egg sandwich. And I've got two very good friends. Hello, friends. Hello, fr is this what you want or is it my friendship? That's this, isn't it? Yeah. Sorry. So I'm coming up to help the girls with the goats this morning. Eventually, things are starting to grow because normally by now the grass should be over twice the height of this. But with all the lack of rain Europe's been getting, it's uh, <laughs> everything's not growing very quickly this year. All right, well, we've got one of our, our girls. No, she's just not looking right. Uh, I've checked her eyelid. You can check the health of a goat by pulling their eyelid down. And if it's not very pink underneath, it can mean that they've got a worm, a high worm count. But they shouldn't have one. They don't eat on the same piece of land, which is where you can get worms from and they've not long had a, a worm jab from the vet when he did his annual visit so uh, that doesn't make a lot of sense and normally if one's got a worm high worm count more than one will have it because they're all eating in the same area so I'm going to inject her with iron today Ferrovet, one to two mil and it's intermuscular which means it, it must go in a muscle tissue so when when taking uh, fluid from these, it goes against the sort of normally you, you see everybody extracting air. You put a little bit of air in the syringe, push it into the bottle, and then you can pull your two mil without creating a vacuum inside the bottle. If you just keep sucking, you'll have it, it'll create a vacuum in there and then you'll, you'll actually struggle to draw the, the liquids out from the, the bottle. So cover the needle back up whilst I'm walking over to the goats. Right, well here's the here's the young lady we're on about. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be able to show you. Obviously, I don't want to upset her too much because I'm about to inject her. But oh. yeah, you can see her eyelid underneath is very white, which is uh, it's not a good sign. There is no air in here but you always expel a little bit just to make sure there's no air in the syringe there we go all done pretty painless that's day three of her treatment you can see how skinny she's got look let's put the cap on this because it's not good to have that waving around She's got extremely skinny. This is the third day we've been treating her, bless her. I've no reason why she's no sort of reason why she's looking so poorly. Everyone else is in perfect health. No one's suffering from the same thing. So I don't know, I'm not quite sure what it is. She's also had an extra worm treatment. Um, that we gave to her about eight days ago when we first saw some signs in her getting a little bit weak looking. But Hey, what's the matter, Mama? You do look very weak. Some of the other girls have bashed into her, fighting her, and knocked her over, and she's not had the energy to get up, bless her. So uh, let's hope she uh, she recovers. I think she will. She's a, she's a young goat. She's generally been had an amazing health. So Are you eating my pocket? And this is why she's called Naughty Nancy. Hey, Naughty Nancy, Naughty Nancy. Oh, it's like a dog. Hey. Hello. What do you think? Hmm. Think everybody out there should subscribe? Yeah, she does.
think some of you must have seen our video I did a couple of weeks ago of me fixing the tyre on the, the trailer here. And that didn't work. It went flat two days later and I don't know whether it was out of sympathy or, or what. But the other side went flat. It had been up for two and a half months. I took the, the trailer down to the house to fill it up with water. I brought it back up and this one's gone flat whilst it's been sat here. I've had to wait a week or so for this container to now become empty. So obviously I haven't got a ton, literally a physical ton of water on the trailer. So I'm going to need to lift this up, support the trailer, take the wheels off and I'm going to go to the tyre man in our canes and I'm going to get him to put a couple of inner tubes in them because I am fed up with repairing tyres which last a week it's just it's just not effective so uh, a bit later on I'm going to take these to our canes and I might even take you with me oh look at that that's blue you can see our Portuguese sky which is normally always blue is extremely grey at the moment so making some days quite hard to, to get on.